I'm in love with fishing, and fishing's what I do. And if you want to try them up, I'll take you fishing too. Maybe in the morning, in the day or at night. It don't really matter, I just want to get that bite. We may catch a limit or maybe just a few. But even if the fish don't bite, just being out here do. We may fish the ocean or river running free. And if you catch the biggest one, it'll be alright by me. Yes, I'm in love with fishing and fishing in my life. So grab your pole and go with me. This is the life of a fisherman wife. Let's go pull them in. <laughs> Let's go. Hey guys, this is your girl Linda <laughs> with the Life of a Fisherman Wife with the guy she always does it with her fishing ed. What's up guys? Guys, it's a little windy outside and a little chilly. So we both were trying to get in the ice shanty with the heat yep. to do this intro. Yeah, so, we got the heater side up. We got a hole cut and uh, we're going to try to get on them. Yep, we're going to try to get on them and we'll let you know when we do. Alright guys, the last time we was out, we showed y'all how, how this works. See, that's my jig right there. You can, yeah, right. Let me point at it. That's my jig right there. That's the bottom down here. And uh, the closer I get to the bottom, you'll see a, a fish come up. All that flashing right there, that's interference. I could change channel and uh, see if it helps some, or I could turn the gain down. But right now... Uh, we are in 12 feet of water, so I could turn the gang down a little bit, and that'll help with some of that. But in deeper water, sometimes you can't see the jig if you don't have the gang turned up. So right now, I don't see anything. Oh, there's one. I see one moving down there. So try to entice them to come up off the bottom and bite. Sometimes they won't do it, guys. So what I do, I raise up high first and uh, see if that'll get any to come in. If that don't work, I, uh, I let it down and I hit the bottom and stir at the bottom a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Hit the bottom, bounce it off the bottom a little bit, and then I reel it in, reel it up. And sometimes they'll follow it up out the, cause you stir up the mud and the muck on the bottom and sometimes that'll, that'll draw them in. And they thinking that it's something injured that they can eat, right? Yeah, or they thinking that something else has gotten one. So, so far, nothing. I got a couple more holes cut I'm going to try. So, if this one don't do anything, at least she's out of the elements. Oh, here come one right there. He coming fast, too. At least she's out of the elements and... uh i go check out some other holes. If we have to, we'll move the shanty over a different hole. He's right on the guy, but right now he's not hitting it. I mean, he's right on it. He's looking at the hood. Wow. Can you see it? Oh, uh, I see some stuff. No, I don't see it. I don't see it. See, that's me right there. That's it. I see, going I back see, down. I see, I see, going yep, down. yep. That's me on the right, side. Right here. Yep, that's the, that's me right there moving. That's the fish that just went back down. So I enticed one off the bottom, guys, but he said no thanks. Here come another one. There he comes. He coming fast. That's a bunch of them. Somebody gonna hit that. Nothing yet, guys. No, he was holding on to the tail. I got a little a little light pool. No. I got a little light pool, man, but they came all the way up to it and it stopped. I hate it when they do that. Here he come again. You see he coming, he coming again. You see him coming on it? You can't, it's, it's acting up, ain't it? Yeah, a little bit, I little think. Bit. He's right there. Eddie, guys, I mean, he went back. See him going back? Mm-hmm. Man, he went back faster than he came up. 
That's all right. I see another one way down. I'm gonna go back down to him. Oh, you just came along. Uh, did he come out? My thumb, my glove wrapped around the doggone thing, guys. <laughs> guys, it's so hard when you have to fish with gloves and stuff on. Let me show you what happened, guys. My my glove wrapped around the screw that I put on there to reel with, and I couldn't reel no more. <laughs> All right, but he's a good one. He is a good one. Keeping him? Yeah, I keep him. We'll try to get a mess today since the other yesterday we then uh we threw all on back so we'll try to get enough to so we can do the vacuum seal and all that oh okay. but i'm gonna need some help all right let uh, me help him fishing air has another one guys that's a good one right there it is a good one mm -hmm. that's a good one right there y'all uh, handful fishing air you growing like you old yeah my back acting up again <laughs> That's all. I, ain't, I left my bucket, guys, so I either got to get on my knees uh, or take her off that bucket so I can sit down. Oh, well, you know you can have this bucket any day, any time, yeah, babe. I, I see another one down. I'm going to get him back, so I'll uh, get him down so I can get another one. All right. He said he see more down there. He did that so light, guys. I mean, he did that light. I'm going to move this train loose because he's trying to wrap around it. That's another nice one. Yep. Oh, Linda gonna have that bluegill dinner. I am. Yeah, look, this is a different kind. The other one had a lot of stripes going down through there. We'll show y'all a comparison when we get off the ice. Well, here, here's the one I got it right here. This oh, the yeah. one you're talking about? Yeah, see that one? Look at the stripes on that one. I don't know what I don't know what kind these are. What makes them what makes one have stripes and one have just solid green, but I'm gonna try to look that up and see what type of uh, bluegill or sunfish these are. I can tell you what though, them, them striped ones look bigger. <laughs> they are. You see any more down there? Oh, I got my transducer out. Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, I see a couple. Oh, I love my wax worms. Yes. You got another one? Yeah, hope. Oh, there you go, he's wrapped around the transducer. Again. And I try to fish to one side, but ain't here it's a little tough. Yeah. That's another one of those ones without the strike. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get him off and get back. All right, you see him coming up, Lenny? I see him coming up. It ain't showing too good. Got him. Got him? Yep. He went that deep down. So you got him all different levels in the, in the water column, huh? Yep. Yeah, he probably one that came up behind the other one, and uh, he just stayed high in the water column after the uh, after the uh, the other one came up. All right, okay. guys, we're going to have that mess. After a while. Yeah. <laughs> like the old folks say, after a while. <laughs> All right, Lynn, I see him come. Hey, get ready. With the tip. You see him? Yeah, yeah, hit it. Oh, there you go. I got him. He wasn't that deep in the water column either. Nope. Pull him out. Oh, oh. You oh, need to you your thumb I on the thing. I got to hold my thumb over the thing. I had to pull it in for y'all. You always talking. I was just telling them what happened. All right. Oh, he is so cold, too. I bet. You be cold, too. You was in 34 degree water, 38. Even though we got the heat on, I don't want to touch it. Yeah, all right. Well, you, that's why you ain't been catching none. That's, that's why, why I ain't been catching none. You're right. Okay. Yeah, but you can warm your hand up quick in this heater. Yeah, you can. When we didn't I have that heater, you didn't want to, I didn't want to touch him. All right, I have to get him off. No, I got him. Oh, he came off. Oh, yeah, he must be little. Yeah, he must be mighty little. So he coming up with me. He ain't little. He was swimming with you. He was swimming with you. Yep. There's a All lot right. of them down there, guys. I'm going to get him off right quick so we can get we can get back down All there. Right, go ahead and get him off and get back down. All right. I see him, I see him coming up. Get ready. There you go. He bumped. Okay. Oop, did since, come there, since there was a lot of them. Yep. Yeah, he, he, there you go. Hold him away from that transducer. There okay. you go. Here he is. I got a second one. I hope that baby see it. I got the window open. I got the window open right here on the, on the shanty, but it's still a little dog. But you yeah, might be able to see. That's all right. I, I could be a, a silhouette for him. Guys, I was going to use the camera. Guess what? I accidentally hit the, bump, the button last night, and it stayed on all night and killed the battery. 
So I'm gonna have to charge the battery up on that one. I started get back down right quick. Yeah, get back down there. Mm -hmm. I started to take the battery out of this out of this one and put it in the other one, but I said now nah, I can use this one. Uh it's one high in the in the water column. See him up there? That's him right here. So when your G get down there, stop it. Don't let it go past. G it ain't going down. You gotta make sure it's going down. Hold it up so I can put it down. Hold it up. He he gonna leave before you get down there. He gone. He gone? Yep. Put his thumb on it. He came back. Put his thumb on it right there. Let it down slowly. Right there. Get ready. He right on it. Get ready. He bumping it. Pull. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, oh, 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 I'm messing up. I'm messing up. That's right. I put him in with my hand. Put him in with your hand. You put him in with your hand. I, put, I got him. Oh, put I him got over him. here. Don't hold him over, over the water. All right. Put him over here. <laughs> I'm messing up. That's I, why. Don't you still tangled up? Look the lines you tangled I, up. <laughs> I see. That's why you don't want me fishing, huh? Not with that one. That one, you got to be, you got to know what you're doing the fool with that one because okay. it's. Oh Lord, look at the mess. We're gonna throw him down right there. All right, let me clean up this mess, y'all. Good God Almighty. <laughs> y'all yeah, fishing there put me on punishment. He told me I can't I can't reel in another fish. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one. He said I can't fish. Nah, I ain't telling that. <laughs> you did. He said he said he wanted divorce. I'm gonna let that one go, guys. <laughs> That's right. grounds for divorce when when, when he tell me I can't Ow. I can't fish anymore. That joke stuck me. I'm about to eat your little butt. Stick me again here. He holding on good, guy. All right, I'm letting him go. Peace. He gone. I'm gonna get back down there. Cause there's a bunch of them. Guys, a lot of them that came and stand right up on the higher in the water column. I was hoping they was a uh, crappie, but they not. They all bluegill. You got a school on the bottom again, and a school halfway up. But that time, though, uh, that halfway up one was smaller. But a couple of those nicer ones was, uh, was, uh, halfway up. Was halfway up, too. But the rest of them were down low. Here come. Here come. Look at that guy. This is what you want right here. You want to be on them so the fish are just plentiful underneath you. So they they competing for that bait so you'll get bites quicker. Although that time, didn't nobody do nothing. Guys, it's kind of messed up now since she tangled it up. It's some kind of way it's, act, it's acting up in the tip. See, I got this this red tip on here and that spring bobber, and it's tangled up in there some kind of way after he went back. After uh, she got it tangled. I had It was like that a couple of weeks ago, but I had got it right. But uh, what happened was, there you go. Dang, I missed. What happened was, he come back, got it. That's a little one, guys. He hit it like two or three times. Let's try it again. If I get this, I'm telling you, he know. If I get this one, you'll see. He might have got all the meat then. See? <laughs> he can't even get the hook in his mouth. He probably got it all. I keep saying that, but he started nipping at it. Alright. He gone this time. That, uh, hold up, it's tangled up. All right, when that when that bait come up, watch how it's spinning. That's what you don't want. See how it's circling like that? You don't want that came loose. It was tangled up in the tip here, and it was doing circles in the water. You're never gonna catch a fish like that. Sometimes when it's spinning slow, they'll bite it, but when it's spin, spinning 100 miles an hour, they ain't gonna hit that. All right, oh. Here come one. He hit it. He hit There he is. Oh, I, you know what? I, he I'm on a, there. I'm a, I'm Pull me with your hand. I ain't gonna ask you. Divorce me. <laughs> Cause I am messing up your, your thing. I guess I could get you one of the good ones, but they biting this red Thompson. I don't have another red and white one. That of course they might bite that gold one, cause we had good luck here with the gold one. Yep. Okay. All right. On it. Come on, dude. He ain't gonna hit it. He's he taking too long. He's looking too hard. I'm gonna freeze it right there. Cause I ain't gonna have no snatching room. He's just looking at it. Move it again. That's a good one if you bite, guy. Cause that light, that bright, that uh, that light is super bright. 
It's either him, uh, a big one, or it's more than one. See, he coming again. I'm gonna keep reeling it slow. He stopped again. That's a good one, boy. He changed his mind. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. That was a good one if he had hit. He gone. Oh, wait. I seen the flash. There you go, right there. I'm a dead stick and I ain't gonna move it at all. See what happened. He's on top of it, isn't he? He's right on it, man. See, he going back already. So I'm shake it. He gone. He gone. He said no thanks. Yeah, he said no thank you. That was a good one, guys. It might be another bass. All right. Hit, hit. He beat it. There you go. Right, 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 right. God, don't be afraid. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> don't be afraid to uh, fish uh, just a, low, a little bit below the ice because sometimes they, they will follow the fish up and they'll stay up in the water column and um, they just hang out there sometimes so if you fishing down deeper and you see some marks raise it up sometime sometime it'd be fish we need more bait yeah we're gonna put some more in there all right he's small yeah he's small we're gonna get him back too guys he's pretty though he is pretty there you go. Oh yeah, he pulling now. Get out the ice. I don't think he's big as the one we think. Look at him going around. Let me take it out. This is another one. That's how he'll come back from around there. We sure gonna let that one go. All right, God, that's a little one there. Yeah. We're going to let this one go, too. He is the tiniest one of the day. We always holler the biggest one of the day. This is the baby of the day. Mm, that is the baby of the day. Seems like the smaller ones are slippery. He gone. He gone. I wasn't going to keep him no way. I could have grabbed him. Did you see him? Yeah, I saw him. <laughs> I didn't want to grab my one. That's a nice one. Yeah. Wow. That's a nice one too. Yeah. That one may be the last one of the day. Uh, yep. Yeah. Guys, he is huge. Uh he is he is another you know, like you said, the other ones has like the little bars going down there. Mm -hmm. Maybe they black and white bluegill. You get black and white crocs. No. <laughs> I'm just playing. Oh, okay. All right. That dude's out, though. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm going to come down here by you. Oh, okay. Guys, think, we dark. <laughs> I think we need to close that thing. Yeah. At least partially away. Then it's even darker, honey. No. See, you can see oh. me a whole lot better. Oh, you can't. We're not silhouettes anymore. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're going to ask you all. Um, now, close that side. That's your side. That's my side. Sorry, guys. That's my side. Oh, okay. Now we can get our thoughts together. Sorry I didn't have you in the frame, huh? But we're going to ask you all to make tomorrow better than today. And until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace, Peace. y'all. We out of here. All right, guys, we're going to back and seal the fish. Uh, we ordered this one from Amazon. It comes with these big bags and a whole roll of these smaller bags. Uh, so what you have to do is get the length you want and cut it. We used to have a measure and measure how long, but it's not that many fish, so we're just going to cut it like that. And uh, if you look here, it's got all different settings on there. I don't know if you can see it. It looks blurry on the thing. But it's got uh, vacuum. Vacuum seal, cancel. Yeah. Seal only. Auto. auto. And then this right here got vacuum only. Manual. manual. That means you have to hold the button. It doesn't right. do it. And then this, these right here has, right here, 
uh, it got dry. Mm -hmm. And that's for uh, moist. This for, uh, what's that, delicate, and this for soft. Okay. So first thing you have to do is, because uh, the bag is open on both ends, so you have to put a seal on it first. And how you do that, you make sure, some people put it way in here, but to me they're wasting bags, so I just put it, make sure it's right on this end. I mash it down, you got to hear it click. Once it clicks, then you look up here and find seal, and you press seal. So you only seal and seal and only. Right. Once the light go off, it's done. You pop it up, you push these two buttons on the side, pop it up, and this is sealed. You can see the line across there. So now we're gonna put our fish in. These are all of our bluegill fillets. This is, uh, how many of this? Like 18 fillets? I think so. Yeah, nice fillets, guys. Nice bluegill fillets. All right. I'm going to get them in there. And uh, I like to dry my hands and get picked out. Uh, baby, could you make sure the car pot is, the, the steam is not coming out the, the yeah. Get it off. Guys, we got dinner going as well, and the, um, not the crock pot, but the pressure cooker. All right, so I like to try to even them out, and then I, I try to dry my hands so that won't get wet. But you put it back in there. I actually cut this too big, but that's okay. So since it's so big, I'm going to put it way in there. And then you uh, press it back down, watch it lock. Lock on both sides, and I'm going to just do an auto seal. No, make sure first the, the uh, moisture. Oh, yeah. that's right. It's on dry. I want it on, on moist. And then I'm gonna put auto seal. I can hold it and vacuum, just hold it, but I don't like doing that. I just like let it do its own thing, huh? It's this one, isn't it? Oh, uh, that says vacuum seal. This says you auto. Want, you, auto. Want, you want a vacuum seal, honey. Yeah. And so then you see it sucks the air out. It sucks the air out and um, vacuum seal it at the same time. And, well, yeah, well, seal it. Yes. And now it's sealing. When the light go off, it'll be done. I could have had a smaller bag, but that's okay. So it just it, all they're doing is collapsing it to take all of the air out of this bag, so that when you put it in your freezer, there's no air in it. All right, the light is off, so I just pop it up, and it's all good. So now this right here can be stored in your freezer for up to a year, two years. She, they said two well, years. Well, we uh, asked Lexa, and she said fish can stay back and seal for three years, but we won't. No, keep she them. said she said fish two years and, and vegetables three, three years. years. Oh, yes. okay, that's right. Okay, so it's good, guys. So I could have spread them out a little bit more, but who cares? They in there, they seal, and they good till we get ready for them. All yeah. Right. So you know they they won't stand a chance three years in our freezer. So oh, and what we do, guys, we write the date on them. What's the day? Today is the fifth. Two, five, twenty-three. And then we put bluegill, and we usually um, put how many bluegill, how many fillets in there, so we'll know how many fillets. Just in case we're expecting guests, right? Then you know you only have eighteen. You need to take out more than one bag. Right. All right, Very guys. Nice. That's it. That's all. And now we got bluegills for up to a year. Yep. Now that fishing's over, sun is getting low. Yes, I caught a big one, but I just had to let him go. Yes, he was a nice one, he was the biggest of the day. Show felt mighty good to me just to watch him swim away. May not ever see him again, this I know is true. But now that he is swimming free, you might catch him too. Glad you came to fish with me, yes it was really nice. Maybe we can go again on the life of a fisherman's wife. Until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace.